Hello everyone, my name is Hazard from the Insane Gamers and there's just been an update to this game. I still have my 200% my login bonus and I've tried to record part 6 of this Let's Play because that's what episode number this is. Two times before this didn't work. First one, the audio didn't record my voice and on the second one, the capture didn't record, which is annoying. And because of that, you may notice I have I now have over 2 million credits. Because of the GT Academy 2014 and the Earned Sun Tribute. And both of these were with the 200% login bonus, so that's how I end up getting that much money. Which is fun. Yeah, I just got an update. So, let's go into Vision Grand Turismo. So it says new. But, again... That's the only new one, and I'm not buying that car. I could buy it if I wanted to. There's no need. Also, apparently it said that Volkswagen never failed their car. And it looks a bit like that. I don't particularly like it. Apparently it's in the news section. Which is apparently in notification, so... There's some new updates apparently. Seasonal events have been fixed. Well, update. Okay, don't take the cat. And what are these hot fixes? Okay, now what I'm uh, gonna attempt to do by, um, well, in this episode, what I'm gonna do is, I'm, because I've done them too annoyingly and no capture happened. I'm going to do the 400 PP Clubman Cup. However, what I'm going to do first is buy a couple of cars. And, I want to say this. On this Let's Play, no, I I won't. Th this Let's Play will probably go on for a while, but I doubt by the end of me completing this, I'm going to own every single car in this game. I mean, how many does it say? It's got over 1,200 cars. Says the back of the box, and more have been added. I doubt I'm gonna get that amount. So, what are some of the hot cars? Oh, look, they're the Erton Center cars. They're a racing version of the GT concept. That. What is that five in the corner? Is that telling me how many? Was that like gifts or something? Do I have five gift cards or something? Like, I'm not... The guy looks a bit like the stick. GT store. I have no idea what that is. Oh yeah, you can buy microtransactions in this game. Forgot about that. Who is buying this? Who's buying 7 million? Status. Wow. That's exciting. Yeah, I, I want to know what that number is in the corner. Anyway, what I was saying in the last episode was if I ever did get over half a million, which I clearly have, I was going to buy a NASCAR vehicle. I have no idea who makes NASCAR vehicles. Ford, I know. I think, yeah, they've got NASCAR, that'll help. Chevy. Toyota. It's nice. Any other companies do it? I have no idea which is the best. I'm just going to buy a 2013 one. They're all half a million. I'm going to buy this one. Apparently it's got a detailed interior. Car information. 
Oh yes, this is Richard Petty's car, even though I have no idea who he is. Let's just purchase it, yes. Farmland passion for pork. Great sponsorship there. No, I do not want to use this car now. But now I own that car, that is excellent. So I now take part in uh, NASCAR. Is there any touring cars I can buy? Yep. <coughs> buy the GT Academy car. Well, no, that. This. For obvious reasons. Needs to be bought because. I remember playing Gran Turismo. Um, what was it? I earned a trophy. How much collector? Uh, yeah, um. Gran Turismo 5. I wanted that car. No, boy. No, I don't want to use it now. These will be helpful at some point in the future. Right, anyway, let's take part in the National P races. As I said, I was going to no, the 400pp Club in the Cup. So let's do this. The annoying thing is, with the um, the other two recordings, cool stuff happened in them. I raged a lot, but cool stuff happened. And speaking of raging, uh, you may not think that these Let's Plays are edited, and most of the time they're not. The GA ones are, especially when obviously we have two different camera views. But. going to uh, behind cockpit view um, but if something is giving me a hard time there will be some rigs obviously and uh, usually when I rage it's not funny it's not like rage quit from Michael from Bruce Steve it's like terrible rage it's not funny at all so usually I cut that out I'm not sure if uh, Paul Fabric has been angry on his Dark Souls Let's Play. He probably has. I haven't seen it yet. Speaking of people that I know in real life, hmm, Ryan Reed's Watchdog Let's Play went amazingly well. Especially with episode 4. With the, how can I say, capturing issues that he had and didn't realise. Maybe it wasn't a capture issue, it's just from what I've seen. When it's happened to me, it looks like it's been a capturing issue. Maybe it was a rendering issue. You know what annoys me as well? I'm not sure, actually, I'm not. I'm not even sure if it's annoying. If it is an annoyance, but I'm not sure if you play was supposed to give me a car. Because obviously, I don't know if the. Uh, I'm not sure if the you play thing was only the next gen version of the game. But there's Watch Dogs. There's like some stealth edition car. One of the fastest cars in the game so I remember. Looks very very nice, but my Uplay account is hooked up with uh, my Xbox Live and PSN accounts. But Apparently, according to you, play, I've not played Watch Dogs. It's annoying. It's clearly, I have. Anyway, that, this is how you win the driving games. You just like accelerate massively. That doesn't make sense. You just like accelerate, ram into things that that's usually good idea. Yes, let's not watch the replay. Replay is kind of boring, unless something funny happens. 
Yeah, I actually didn't expect myself to have that much cash. Oh god, can you kind of see a bit of the anti alien thing going wrong? It's not that good. And apparently, uh, don't know yet. Uh, how can I say this? I'm going to start on the Rogan Tracks Presents the Need for Speed Let's Play. It may not come out because I'm, it may just be incredibly terrible and I will have lost my bet with you guys, but. That was incredibly, incredibly stupid of me to say something like that. But I've, I've never seen a, a Need for Speed 1 Let's Play before, which is weird considering it started what was a good series, but might not be it, and I don't think it is anymore. Yep, this, I'm going to tell you something, this car likes to drift. Well, but drift? You can hear the tyres squealing. Also, that car is not following the rift. Jesus, you do have to slam on the brakes here. If you look in the mirror, the cars do look like they're slightly hovering. And that guy is getting really close to my ass. Surprised he can do it with all the uh, speakers in the back of him. And that was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. Not only did the controller vibrate, but the headset did. So in d essentially, driving because the wire is touching it. So it vibrated up the wire and vibrated the entire headset. So essentially, I went over a rumble strip, my hands vibrated, as they would be if they were on the steering wheel, but then my entire head vibrated. That is weird. I don't know what. Yeah, I knew I put R1 as handbrake. Does this game have like accurate? Yes, it does. It does actually. The the hands do actually cha appear to change the game. No, I want a handbrake on this corner. I just want to drift it. No, that didn't end as well as I hoped. I was kind of hoping that would have ended better. Although that guy had to take a bit of a wide corner. But yeah, Bertie Dastard is still winning. Now there are some rules to the Bertie Dastard thing that I believe me and Chris has said. You know, Bertie Dastard, if you get to put a name and it's a kid's game, for instance, it, like in the UK we have the Peggy rating, well in Europe so we have the Peggy rating system, which is very similar to the ESRB but we don't have uh, we don't have letters, we have numbers. I feel this... Very, very... ...useful. Because... It, ...in the U... ...well, especially in the UK. Like, you, you'll see, like... ...parents... ...I'm sure this is... ...happens a lot in America as well, but... ...parents don't understand what M for Mature means. They think, oh, it's a video game, it doesn't matter. But with... Call of Duty, there's a lot less kids in this country that are playing Call of Duty because there is a giant friggin' 18 on the front of it and parents know because for a while we used the same rating systems as movies that maybe that isn't as good for their kids. I mean, a lot of them will still probably think, oh it's a video game, it doesn't matter, but it's a lot less. I'm going to say, than in America. Maybe it's also because Britain is a much smaller country than America. But most of the time I'm not playing with English kids. Uh, on GTA or Call of Duty or anything. 
And I'm, all, I'm always playing with Martins. Actually, I'm not even sure if I mentioned this in the last let's in the last the in the last let's play. Jesus, my mouth. Oh yeah, as I was saying about Bertie Dust. Uh, if it's if it's a kids game, Bertie is obviously not going to be used because parents may complain. Actually, I'm pretty sure Mario doesn't allow you to uh, name your characters, but pretty sure Bertie Dusted will not be allowed. Tiagen with a Wii U, and then like it's just that's the name that the me I mean like, like my 12-year-old cousin will find it hilarious, but his parents won't. So, kids games? No, Bertie's not going to be the name. And uh, age ratings. Yeah, in the UK we have uh, age ratings of well, Europe, so we have 3 plus, which is the age rating of Grand Turismo. And then we have 7 plus, 12, fi uh, 16, and then 18. That was a nice cut, uh, cut in the bottom out of me. It makes it, it's a lot easier than E. E, what is it, E, E10 plus, teen, M to mature. Anyway, as I was going to say, uh, not sure if I mentioned this in last last play, but, uh, going to be doing a Sly Cooper Let's Play. Because I believe I mentioned that in a in a previous recording, but I uh, it may have been the one that I didn't even record or I couldn't use because my cuts didn't work. Here we go, second lap. Actually, you know, I think the second lap's been going on for quite a while, me. That's just where the short circuit. Starts. I'm an idiot. I can kind of see screen towering in the mirror. It, it just doesn't look good. But yeah, expect a frozen track presents the need for speed lights. But in fact, expect a Sly Cooper let's play. All three of them. Which weird, because I haven't played them in years, so I'm probably expecting to suck and be stuck at certain points. That could, that is probably going to happen. Anyway, I'm going to win this race, so that'll be the end of this episode. Don't forget to like for more Grand Tourism 6 content. Don't forget to share and tell your friends. Hit subscribe to show your support and leave a comment so I know what to improve. And did you notice there? I didn't pause and go, uh, during the whole bit. Anyway, I've been hazard from the insane humans. Thanks for watching. And tell me what vehicles I should buy. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like